I know a lot of y'all, if you have these trucks, there's a ton of them out there, a 90s Z71 or the GMC Z71, whatever. You know the Pittman arms go bad on them. And uh, the idler arms, that's the idler arm there. It's the, it's, it connects the drag link to the frame. And uh, it, these things are bad for the steering box and a drag wing. They go bad. The steering gets all good. As you can see, you should never be able to do that like that. It's completely shot. A lot of people will tell you you got to remove the steering box. A lot of people will tell you that. There's your steering box. And it's a bitch to deal with. Uh, you don't have to do that. You can get it off. There's the new one put on. Here's what I did to save you some time. I couldn't find a fork big enough. Uh, standard size was, uh, I don't know where it is. Anyway, it, it's smaller than that. And what you gotta do is get you a torch and an ax and heat the forks up real good. And then get a hammer and drive it down on the axe after you got it heated up. I used a little plumb and acetylene torch uh, and, it, and it widened it up. Then you can use a ball joint tool like so and pound that sucker off of there. See that? You ain't got to deal with all that mess. Now, you will have to loosen the stabilizer bar bolts so that you can get that thing off the spindle. There's your idler arm changed but that will save you a lot of time instead of having to deal with all that, taking that damn steering box off. Who, who wants to do that? I don't. Of course, you have to take your skid plates off. God, yeah. Yes, you want to your mud guard and your skid plate. You'll have to take those off. But anyway, thought that might help y'all. Just get you one. I recommend probably getting a cheaper one too because the metal will probably be softer and you won't have to heat it so much. But I had this thing almost not glowing red, but you know, I heated it at the bottom of the forks and just drove it down with a two pound maul. Or uh, yeah, just two pound, two pound hand sledge maul and uh, took care of it. So that might help you all there. Just wanted to make a video because I, I know that's a pain for a lot of people. And get you a good breaker bar like that to put on the end of your wrench. And get you a good solid half inch drive puppy like that. They're about 25 bucks. This one's I, this one I've had for 15 years and it's been incredible. So uh, anyway, there you go. That's how you get your front end parts changed. I've already done the, all the rest, ball joints, and there's a new CV joint there, which had, boots has split. I changed it three years ago. They split again. I took it back. They gave me a new one because it's got a lifetime warranty from AutoZone. I usually go to Advance, but thanks to them, those um, tie rod ends are new. And uh, changed the oil in the front diff there, rear diff, I put a, put a, it had a locker, but I put a, I wanted them eating um, G80 locking rear, auto locking rear diffs in this truck. I changed the uh, crankcase fluid, uh, just did a motor job on it, and, uh, and you can see the original CV joint over here, GM, is still good, not split. And I talked to a guy, he said you can spray like uh, some kind of like uh, rubber protectant or something on those boots and it'll make them last a little longer so recommend doing that there's the two pound mall beat the hell out of it get you a good jack like that and use jack stands if you're underneath it but i'm not underneath it so i'm not using them so we did rear fr front and rear brakes all new front end now rear ends all new locker back there transmission's been replaced uh we're in good shape uh, we're ready for the beach trail riding 285, sand tire, fire stones, destination. And uh, you can shake, just need to wash it up a little bit and clean it. But you gotta take that off too. I don't know what that is. That, the, the idler, I don't know what they call it, but the idler arm is right there that, that stabilizes the drag link to the frame. And then that right there holds, holds it on. You gotta make sure you see that grease fit at the top. You gotta grease that. That's one of the things you gotta grease. And don't forget to grease your uh, front drive shaft that comes up. <laughs> To the front axle because it, it's got a grease point on it when you go over bumps it has to extend and shorten as you can see it right there 
right there. And make sure you don't have an oil leak on your oil pan. These Chevys are built tough, man, as you can see. And there, see uh, that those little bars there go up to the frame, hold the motor transmission solid. And I've got, like I said, I've got the skid plates off. We got a new fuel filter on it. Uh, PCB valve belts, hoses. Uh, I can't think of what else he did. Had an exhaust issue I fixed. But there's the new CD joint. And, uh, yeah, this is in good shape. We're in good shape. Be careful with these guys. That's your airbag sensor. If you see something like that around there, you know, you get an impact, that's going to pop. And there's your, it's cool because this is a mud guard for the uh, radiators. Radiators, radiator. And then you've got uh, that big mud guard goes on the plastic one, and then the skid plate goes on the front axle assembly here, right there. So it's uh, yeah, built right 97 Silverado. Got to do shocks next, and we're good. Put some Lucas in the filter and the transmission, and we're good. But anyway, get you a fork, widen it, save you a lot of time. Thanks, y'all, for watching. Stephen King.